What is up, everybody? I'm Jared, and I will be going over my core four of MLB picks for prize picks today. If you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every single day. Also, if you're not currently playing on prize picks and you want to give that site a try, sign up there using promo code WINDAILY. I'll get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Gold. Get you access to all of our daily articles. Get you access to our Discord. So go ahead and sign up there today using promo code WIN DAILY. So if we do a recap of yesterday, uh, we had some mixed results. Our core four went two and two. Eloy Jimenez hit his number with a pair of singles. Willie Adamas homered, so he hit his uh, hitter fantasy score pretty easily. Uh, the two that we missed were Cedric Mullins and Adley Rushman. Uh, they both had a couple really hard hit balls, but only Rushman ended up with a hit, and it was just a single. Um, so overall, just a mixed result day. Uh, we went two and two. Um, that said, we'll look to improve upon that today and go 4-0. Oh. Let's go ahead and jump in. Before we really get started, though, um, I will say this slate is one of the worst slates of the year. It is a seven-game slate tonight, um, but a lot of the games are poor. Uh, we have some average to below average pitchers. Uh, you know that when Chris Bassett is the best pitcher on the slate, it's going to be a kind of a weird slate. So I would recommend playing on the lighter side if you're playing at all today. I am going to be playing on the lighter side if I play at all. Um, but these are my core four picks, so I do like them, and I do think that they're going to hit. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first two that we're going to go with are going to be Vladimir Guerrero and Teoscar Hernandez. Uh, they both get a nice matchup against Jordan Lyles. Um, I really try to my hardest to pick on him whenever I can. But he's had some better results this year. His ERA is the lowest it's been in a couple of years, and so are his home runs uh, per nine. Uh, but he's still the same pitcher that was giving up massive, massive amounts of home runs over the last few seasons. That pitcher's still in there. And he does struggle when he faces a solid righty lineup. He's going to face that today with the Blue Jays. They're going to throw out a predominantly right-handed lineup. Uh, with Laos, when he does pitch at home, again, you do want to focus on the righties here. Um, he is giving up significantly more uh, power and hits two righties at home. Righties have a 318 average against him in Camden, and they also have a 338 Woba. With Hernandez, he's coming into this game pretty hot. Uh, he's got an eight-game hitting streak. He also has multiple bases in four of his last five games against righties over the last month. Hernandez is a 394 Woba. So really love this spot for him. Uh, so we'll lock in that one-and-a-half total base over number for him. The next one that we're going to go with is, again, just his teammate Vladimir Guerrero. Gets the same soft matchup against Jordan Lyles. Um He's been absolutely lights out against righties this year. 19 of his 23 homers this season have come against righties. Um, all of his offensive metrics this season have been way better against righties than lefties. Um, and again, he's facing just an average to below average righty tonight in Jordan Lyles. Um, he is coming into this game with an 18 game hitting streak. Uh, he's just been extremely solid and consistent. Uh, so we'll lock in the over on his one and a half total bases. Uh, if you're looking for offense tonight, highly recommend the Blue Jays. It is going to be a scorcher in Baltimore tonight. It's going to be about 90 degrees and humid. Uh, the ball just really flies out of Camden when the weather gets like that. So although these are my two favorite, wouldn't, wouldn't argue against any other offensive guys in uh, Toronto to, or for Toronto in Baltimore tonight. The next one that we're going to go with is we're going to go with a no runs first inning. And that is going to be we're going to go with the Cubs and Nationals. Um, both of these offenses are below average offenses. The Cubs offense has been absolutely brutal <coughs> over the last week. They've scored just a total of 11 runs. They do get a really good matchup against Anibal Sanchez tonight, uh, who has not been good um, over his four starts that he's made this year. Uh, but again, this is a pretty bad Cubs lineup. And if Anibal Sanchez was going to throw a good game, it would be against this Cubs lineup. Also, the weather tonight in Chicago is going to be more conducive for solid pitching than hitting. The, wet, the wind is going to be blowing in. And typically when we see the wind blow in, unless you have a powerhouse lineup like a Blue Jays or a Mets out there or a Yankees team, uh, it is a lower scoring game. Even on the net side, they're going to be facing off against Keegan Thompson. Uh, he hasn't been that bad over the last month. His ERA is just a shade over four. Um so, again, he's been pretty decent. Uh, this Nats lineup is also pretty poor. 
without Bell and Soto in it. Yes, they have Luke Voigt, but Luke Voigt's not that good. There's a reason why teams have been giving up on him recently, like the Yankees and the Padres. Um, I do think that this is going to be a low-scoring affair, and I think that they will struggle to score runs early and often. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to go with the no side or the, the under on the no runs first inning for the Cubs-Nats game. The final one that we're going to go with, although I am attacking – Jordan Lyles, um, I do also like this spot for him to throw a ton of pitches. Um, they currently have his pitches thrown at 99 and a half. Um, I will say that, that more often than not, he does throw 100 pitches. He's thrown over 100 pitches in eight or six of his last eight games. Um, so I do think that he gets the over the O's bullpen is taxed they used a bunch of guys yesterday they used a bunch of guys saturday um so i do think that they will uh, end up giving him a longer leash even though i do think that he struggles a bit against this this solid blue jays lineup so we're going to go with the over on the 99 and a half pitches thrown today uh so if we do a recap of our core four plays <coughs> we're going to go with the over on the one and a half total bases for vladimir guerrero we're going to go with the over on the Teoscar Hernandez one and a half total bases. Uh, we are going to go with the under on the Cubs and National starting pitchers with the no runs first inning. And we're going to go with the over on Jordan Lyles nine and a half uh, pitches thrown. Um, although this is a core four, I do plan on splitting these up today. Um, I would recommend going with a Vladimir Guerrero and Teoscar Hernandez pair. Um, and then also pairing the Cubs Nationals and Jordan Lyles together in just separate ones. Um, it's going to be a tough slate to get right. So again, play light if you're going to be playing today. Um, I plan on playing pretty light today. Uh, so that said, that's our core four. If you end up using them, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Uh, if you have any questions about your own picks, just make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Happy to answer any questions that you may have. That said, let's go 4-0 with our picks today. Good luck, everybody.